I'm working on creating some garters which involve making around 22 inches of knit lace and here's some of the lace unblocked and the finished garters and these are knit with crochet cotton and so it's a very small thread and it's knit on very small needles um, in this case it's one needles and because the thread is so slippery it's easy to drop stitches and when you're dealing with a long piece of lace you don't want to unravel the whole thing so what I do in the technique that I'm going to show you today is called a safety line if you look closely you can see these black lines and it's a way of inserting thread into your work you can see the black lines continue down because I've left all the safety lines in and basically inserting a safety line into your work means that should I, you drop a stitch up here your work will only unravel to the point of your last safety line. To insert the safety line I deal with a contrasting color of thread, in this case I'm using black, and you need some kind of needle. I got a um, beading needle that has, it's basically just a piece of wire, it has a very large eye which makes it extremely easy to thread, especially, oh. especially when you're clumsy and are doing it in front of a camera. So once I have the needle threaded, which hopefully you can see it just fine, I take my lace at the point where I'm ready to insert the safety line, and I hold the needle kind of as close to the wire needle, as close to the knitting needle as I can so it's flush against it, and then slip stitches of my lace um, onto the needle. And so what's going on here is essentially I'm threading the needle through the stitches, but this is the easiest way I've found to actually um, get it to work. And sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, wiggling to get it through. Whoops. But, but you want to make sure that the needle actually goes through every stitch. And here's the needle right here. And so I'm pulling it all the way through with the thread, and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that this, as I wiggle the thread, it's actually, and I'll wiggle the other side too, it's actually through all of the stitches. So then, at this point, if, you know, you were to drop some stitches on the next round, and whoops, you know, it's off of the needle, you can see all of these stitches are protected by the safety line. So then you can insert the needle back into the stitches. And by um, inserting safety lines at regular intervals, you can protect your work. Uh, I mean, you can protect your work and limit the amount that you lose should you make a mistake and have to unravel. So yeah, so this not only protects you from drop stitches, but this protects you from when you notice a mistake and have to unravel your work. When you start knitting, after inserting your safety line, you knit your stitches as you normally would, but you can see I'm not knitting the thread. The thread is remaining through the stitches in the row where I inserted the safety line, and I am just knitting stitches, kind of ignoring that thread. When you're ready to remove the safety line, it is really very simple. You find an end of the thread and really just pull it out of your work. And so see now my lace, there used to be a safety line over here and you cannot see it at all. But and there's the next safety line so when I'm all done then I would continue to remove each of the safety lines. Thank you for watching this tutorial on safety lines. Um, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and this video has been brought to you by our my friends at allfreeknitting.com. Happy knitting!